everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make mini meringues or um, in other places they may be known as pavlova, which I think that's how you say it. I watch the Food Network and that's how they say it on there, so I'm going to just go with it. <laughs> um, I'm going to start out with four egg whites and um, this should make 12 little mini um, meringues. If you want, you could cut it back to two egg whites and that should make like six. It just depends on how big you're going to make them. Um, I'm going to be making them like three inch diameter. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with four egg whites. To the egg whites, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and I'm just using regular table salt. I'm also going to be adding a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. But if you don't have the cream of tartar, you can go ahead and add two teaspoons of white vinegar. That's to the four egg whites. Now I'm going to go ahead and start this on a medium speed until we get like soft peaks. And I will show you what that looks like. So now I'm at the soft peak stage. You can see that the peak sort of folds over onto itself. And now I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar and I'm going to gradually add it in a tablespoonful at a time. I'm actually going to be using just the unrefined um, cane sugar. It looks like this. You can use regular granulated sugar if you want. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my mixer and I'm going to start adding it in a tablespoon at a time until I get stiff peaks. After about four minutes you should have stiff peaks and they will stand straight up when they are done. What I have is a baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper and on one side I have went and traced some circles. They're about three inches wide and of course I flipped it over because you don't want the pencil mark or the pen mark to get on your meringues. And what I'm going to do is just spoon the mixture out onto the circle and I mean this doesn't have to be perfect obviously this is just kind of a guide of how big that you really want your meringues to be so that they're all pretty much the same size if you get outside the circle a little bit that's perfectly fine and also if you wanted to you could just make one giant um, meringue that wouldn't be a problem at all so I'm going to just sort of make my circle, get it around as best as I can, and then right in the middle what you want to do is sort of make it like an indentation around and like have some of the meringue go up the sides. You don't want to obviously go all the way down to your baking sheet. You don't want to make a hole in it, but you want to make like a little divot so that when these are finished baking and everything, you can put fruit in the middle of them. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do another one. I just get a big dollop of it on my spoon and sort of lay it out there. And then I just take the back of my spoon and sort of um, mold it around to go inside that little circle that I drew. And like I said, it's not going to be perfect unless you're a professional. I am not a professional. I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> and just make like your little divot in the middle. You could probably also put this in a piping bag. That might be a lot easier than doing this with a spoon. After you have all of your meringues formed, you want to put these in a 300 degree oven for 35 minutes. Then you want to turn the oven off and let them sit for one hour. Do not open the door. You don't want to let any of the heat out because that's going to help dry them out so that you'll be able to take them off and they'll get real nice and crunchy on the outside. So when these are all done, I will show you what they look like and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So my little mini meringues or pavlovas are done and I have just sort of pulled them up off of the parchment paper. They got a little bit 
darker than what I wanted them to and I'm thinking that 300 degrees may be a little bit too warm for your oven so I would suggest maybe doing 250 and see how that works I did end up after about 10 minutes I think I did bump it down to 250 and then I just left them in there for the rest of the time plus the hour with the oven off and they got a little bit brown on top but I think they'll be okay so now I'm going to show you how to serve them. I would suggest if you were taking these to like a barbecue or something um, that you leave them like this, put them in an airtight container and leave them like this and then bring the toppings with you so that everybody can put their own on there because I don't know how long they'll last if they're all, all you know, if they're all already, <laughs> that's hard to say, um, made up. So what I'm going to do is just take a dollop of Cool Whip and you can put however much you want on there. Any type of whipped cream will do. And then because I'm making these for the 4th of July, I thought these would be really cute to have for the 4th of July. I'm going to do red, white, and blue. The white obviously was supposed to be the pavlova, but it's a little bit darker, so but that's okay. So we'll just say that the white is the whipped cream. <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle on some blueberries, however many you want. And then I have a strawberry that I've sliced up and you can just sort of stick this around as well. And it looks super cute and I know they're gonna be delicious. They're nice and crispy, I don't know if you can hear that and then the inside of them should be like super chewy and just oh my gosh so good I cannot wait to eat one of these I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'm constantly coming out with new videos I have at least two videos a week that I try to put up um, for all of you guys who are new I do product reviews. I do, sometimes I do grocery hauls if I can remember to before all the groceries are put away. Um, I do obviously baking videos, cooking videos. Sometimes we do fun little family type tasting videos, which we haven't done that for a while. I think we need to do that here soon. Um, but if you guys would like, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you and I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye!